Right, so we may have gotten into a little bit of technical difficulties, I suppose. For some reason, the inertial dampeners didn't quite work. And Benjamin, helpful as he always is, warned me that I was going towards an asteroid, and for some reason my thrusters up wouldn't work. Well, I managed to come to a stop somehow. And now we have debris floating everywhere. Yay. Hello there, welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rick, I'm here with Benjamin. Hi there. And today we'll be taking a look at our station, because we've been very busy in the last couple of weeks. For example, we're here at the observation deck, and instead of a couple of um, cockpits, there's a bunch of seats now. You can sit on them. They will recharge your energy, and they look a hell of a lot cooler and a lot more casual. So, our civilian station actually looks like a civilian station instead of ten military turrets thrown on there for no reason. Well, meteorite defense. But it now looks a lot more hospital. Hospitable, not a hospital. Jeez. <laughs> that would end up being weird. Especially in the space vacuum. <laughs> anyway, there's a couple of seats over here. There's now power in here, so this lobby looks a lot cooler now. Like 20% more. There's a little seat over there. Little entrance way. I've started building a roof here. There's still a cool walkway down there. There's some pipeway down there now, which looks pretty cool. Small gateway for the mining mothership to dock at. The mining mothership will be taking a travel, a journey to another mining sector of ours which isn't the focus of today's video let's go down here for a minute I'm building a tower up in here which will be a headquarter tower basically There's a little item dropper in here just for the hell of it anyway let's move on I've got more cool things to show you build a dividing wall here for the shipyard small ship, large ship and you guys remember when I built that solar panel f uh, extendable basically? Well that's had a lot of upgrades, as Bayman will now demonstrate. Yeah, you're ready for something cool? Yep, impress us. Slowly. Yeah, slowly but surely. So yeah, For with me, it looks like wobbling, but... Yeah, that's because of the old netcode. They had to revert that because a lot of people had bugs, etc. And just couldn't play multiplayer anymore. Hang on, let me do it. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit more wobbly because you're inside it now. Oh well. Nothing looks good. like I'm damaging the space station. Yeah, it doesn't happen for me when I extend it, but oh well. Nothing we can't fix. Anyway, with ah, the well, added... Well, it still looks cool, so... Yeah, and with the added bonus of power now being transmittable through rotors, that means that all these solar panels will now provide power to the, to the station, basically. Um, can you try hopping out of the cockpit for a little, a little second? Yeah, you can easily see it going a lot smoother now. Oh my, that's bad. Well, that's a netcode in a nutshell. Bad. Okay, let's just let it fold out completely. Then you hop back in and initiate. Yeah, and then the I go back in. Still looks pretty cool though. Alright, it's fully deployed. Oh, there we go. More panels being deployed. Panelception.
Thankfully, this one is going rather smooth. Yes, because I'm already out of the cockpit, so... Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Alright, now the final stage. Rotation. To maximize the sun output. Well, the solar output, anyway. Yeah, that looks good. In the meanwhile, a small little feature that they added as well. There's a landing gear in here, which is blue, which means it will automatically lock with anything that comes in the range. So, for example, if I were to throw a bill, uh, throw a floating block here, it would lock. And you can also put a the amount of force so that it will break the lock. So basically, if it falls in, it'll it will lock itself in place. And I've yeah. I've installed it in just the right way so that this p the solar panels have just enough force that they will break free. Which is a cool future. Anyway, let's move on to the last thing of this video. This thing. What is this, you might ask? I'll gladly tell you. This is a spaceship. A large ship, to be exact. I, I call it the, um, the buzzard. It's a reconnaissance vessel, basically. We're in spectator camera mode right now, which is also a frequent addition. So we can just fly through blocks basically, which I will be using to show you guys a quick tour of the ship. Over here we have the glass cockpit, so we can see what's going on around us. There's two controller seats, so we can alternate, or there can be four people on the bridge. Through these doors are some cargo containers, which contain ammo for the missile tubes which are located under the cockpit basically so they've got some missiles stored in them and some basic parts because we're going to be building an outpost and we'll be bringing this ship along anyway let's fly further there's some more cargo containers here which will connect to gatling guns useful for targeting small craft and or meteorites some doors here as well for accessibility some more seats for people to sit down over here is a walkway area which isn't quite finished yet because if we fly out of the left side here there's a module here which is basically an engine block a couple of engines in there you can fly in there from here for the service tunnel you can see there's a lot large reactor some engines gyroscopes everything and we can attach them with these merge blocks basically which is basically like lego they can click together and then you have one ship which is pretty cool so let's hop out of spectator mode right now let's fly over to the ship and start assembling it because we're gonna need those engines if we're gonna go on a high speed trip aren't we and then we'll add a nice color to it we'll double check for takeoff and then we'll get going Oh, accidentally alt tap for a second let's turn on the HUD and I'll need to see what's going on I'm gonna try to do this very slowly because it's a bit wonky at times and I don't want to damage the craft too much I think you have to go down a bit yeah it's a bit hard controlling it oh well there we go yes. I'm gonna have to quickly duck with it though before it slams into anything else right I'm gonna inspect the damage it shouldn't be too much in theory Yep, all the merge blocks are still intact. Fantastic. That's a good lock. Some minor damage, but nothing major. Right, that should stabilize itself. Time to get back in the cockpit and fly to the other side. After which we'll do a final flight check. And then we'll be ready to go. And end the episode. Turn around, connect to the engine, and we're 
repeat the same process again. So yeah, we'll basically be moving to a new sector with this. It'll have less asteroids, so hopefully our performance will be better. And we can bring you like one or two survival episodes per week. We won't be bringing in any new goods whatsoever. Because we just want to do it by mining everything basically. So no resource cheating. Still going to play on survival. It'll just take a while. Which is good. And hopefully it'll be fun for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna fly over to the engine block real fast, real quickly. Turns out they have uh, the stabilizer still on. So I'm gonna shut off the reactor for a little moment. So I can move this into p position more easily. There we go. Power down. Fly back out. Greet Benjamin on the way. Hi there. Hello there, colleague. Why don't you get nestled in the cockpit of the buzzard? I'll meet you there. You want me to go in the cockpit of the spaceship or of the... Yeah, the spaceship, the buzzard. Climb in one of the passenger seats. I think it looks really cool if you can build a spaceship separately from the base of the spaceship. Yeah, yeah it can be really useful. Because, for example, if someone flies up to me and shoots at my engines, which are based on the outside, then I can just decouple it and attach a new one, basically. Modular designs can be refitted in lots of ways, although this one is rather limited in its op options. Which should surprise no one, basically. Gotta be careful to do proper aligning here. Which I'm not doing at the moment. Which might cause a lot of problems down the line when I want to properly attach. <laughs> you know, we'll be uh, we'll be right back. I can imagine this being boring to watch, so we'll just skip over it. <laughs> right, we are back we decided to uh, group at uh, Gatling third station alpha over there when things started hitting the fan or the ship more accurately there's already one hole in here uh, I think it's time to get the hell out of here we've already had a lot of near misses they seem to be targeting the station at the moment This is bad. What do you say about getting the hell out of here? It sounds good for me. There are not, not many options. Uh. Right then. Let's get going. 